moving like the speed of sound. Okay guys, I was doing the research on the bow, and I have enough levels of experience to do it. And I know you guys can't see my screen right now, but I'm going to read the bow and the information I got from the bow. Uh, and excuse me if I pronounce names wrong, I'm always bad with the pronunciation of some words that I don't know how to pronounce, especially names. So this one says Odysseus, and like I said, I could be saying that wrong, I'm not so sure. But this is Odysseus' bow that that only he could handle. After the departure of Odysseus, Penelope stated that she would only marry a man able to bend the bow and shoot an arrow through twelve axes in a line. Back to Ithaca, like I said, I don't know how to say that word. Disguised as a beggar, Odysseus did it once again before revealing his identity and killing all Penelope's suitors. So, he was the only one strong enough to actually pull the bow back and shoot through twelve axes, or something like that. And that sounds pretty awesome to me. It sounds like this guy's a badass and he's really fucking strong and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna try to get here. No wait. Okay, I think that's, that's not a halfway. Okay, I'll just have to break that and then get in there. But uh, I'm gonna name the bow uh, probably Odysseus's bow or Odysseus's strength. I'll, I gotta think of something kind of catchy and clever. Uh, so let me do that. Okay, so I, I, I figured just, oh my, it scared the living shit out of me. I thought it was a creeper, to be honest. Oh, the lag scared me. And I turned down the mom sound so you guys can't hear them. But uh, I just named it Odysseus. Uh, I don't know. The other stuff looked kind of weird. So <laughs> looked really weird, actually. Uh, I have my inner chest here. So I can easily just place it and grab as much diamonds as I need. So I'm going to, uh, I don't want to show you books. I know Sapo has a ton of books. And I know he's going to using them. I really want to get some good armor. Uh, I'm going to try to do that, actually. I'm going to level up and get some armor. And this episode is coming to an end, so I'm going to get all the best armor and stuff. And then, yeah. Hey, everyone. I am back with another Minecraft video. And in this one, I think we're... Well, I pretty much... I know we're going to be going to fight the Ender Dragon pretty soon. And the, if you guys don't know what the Ender Dragon is, is it is the overall boss... It's pretty much saying you beat Minecraft, but you know, we don't have to end the game or anything like that. But it's pretty much a f giant flying dragon that wrecks havoc everywhere, and we have to kill him. We get a massive amount of experience from it, and then we get to build the Enderman farm, which is a way better way to start enchanting and creating new tools and better tools and stuff. But over the past probably two hours, probably not even that, maybe, maybe one, but uh, I've been down here in the Skelly farm making some tools and stuff. I made a diamond sword. I made two diamond swords. I ended up getting another one of these and then... Here, let me place this down and look. I got this. I've had that. And then I got a few books here. I think these are from Sapo though. So I pretty much just got another sword with looting three and I'm going to put some books on it. Sapo is probably going to donate a few. Uh, and yeah, so I'm going to continue doing this. Actually, no. I have to go mining. I'm out of diamonds. I only have like five left, but I want to get full diamond armor before we go down to fight the dragon, and then I want to get a bunch of potions and stuff. Uh, oh yeah, and we got more people on the server now. Um, but that's kind of cool. And uh, money over mines. Uh, was actually in the previous one in the Skyblock series, if you guys watched that on Gary's channel. But we kind of had to end it off the series for the skyblock. But we're planning on launching it back up, so I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so that's everything we got. I'm going to go, I have to branch mine for diamond. Uh, but I do have a fortune three, so finding diamond, you know, I could easily get a shit ton thanks to the fortune pick. But we have plenty of arrows. That's also mine. We have plenty of arrows for the, the ender dragon. Of course, I won't need any. I will have the fortune, no, I will have the infinity on the bow and infinity. Let's you shoot as many arrows as you want, as, as long as you have one in your inventory. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and continue to work, branch mine, etc. I have, actually, I haven't even built a branch mine in my base. I'm just gonna go down here and do it uh, until I get my base set up. I have sh so much work to do on it; it's crazy. All right, I'm gonna go to work. Okay, so I thought this was really world weird. Uh, I was doing some of the branch mining, you know, like I said I was gonna be doing, and. You know, I come to this wall, and I can't break anything on this level. It's really weird. I, I don't know why it's like that. Uh, but, actually, 
Now that oh no, and I can't break anything in that level. Holy fuck, that's stupid. Okay, so um, I think the reasons behind this. I am to believe that the spawn, because there's a spawn block and you can't break anything on spawn. So I'm to believe that there is something causing like, because if you spawn, you're not allowed to break any of the blocks in spawn. Man, that is a shit ton of diamond right there. So no one can break block. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. No one can break blocks that are in the spawn. And this is if this is in the trunk, the chunk with the spawn, I won't be able to break these blocks. So I'm actually gonna see if I can get these blocks somehow. With uh, I'm gonna talk to Gary and see if he can omit me the, the ability to do so. Cause this is fucked. <laughs> that's fucked up. It really is. Um, so I'm gonna do that and uh, see if that's the problem. So. Okay, everyone. I talked to Gary, and he said he will do it in the morning. It's kind of, it's kind of a, uh, kind of early in the morning slash late in the night. I don't know. It's probably around three o'clock, four o'clock here. So it's probably five o'clock where he is. But he is in bed, and he said that he will give me up to break these blocks tomorrow morning or today morning or however this goes. So I'm gonna actually continue to mine until I find some diamonds I can mine because I'm out of them. So I'm gonna continue to do that. Huzzah! I found some diamonds, and I'm mining right next to the, the side that I can't break. And it might not be the spawn chunk, because I can't break anything. It's crazy. I don't think the chunks are that long, but I did find some diamonds, so that's kind of cool. I'm just glad it's not on the left side this time. I should probably actually move over a little bit. Uh, you guys probably can't see anything right here, and I'm sorry for that. Uh, I just don't need to place torches or anything down like that. Uh, and I'm still touching all the blocks I'm obtaining, so I can fortune through them because I am running out of coal even. Uh, oh wait, I, I just broke past the barrier. Because uh, right here I couldn't... Okay. Okay. So right here is where the barrier ends. Okay, that's kind of cool. So that's where the spawn is exactly. Nice, interesting. I mean, I don't know how that helped me underground any, but... uh. Yeah, so I'm going to continue to mine. Uh, from that, we got six diamonds. We're going to fortune three it up. So. Aha! More diamond! I literally just went a few blocks out from the chunks and found more. Uh, so I am... I'm doing good on diamonds now. And it's amazing. It's freaking fabulous. That's what it is. I'll be packed. I plan on enchanting it all. Uh, on this one, all I got was protection. Three, and I'm breaking, but... I want to make some armor, and I'm gonna, I am gonna—I think I'm going to do books instead so I can get the right combination. But the books, the thing about the enchanting books is you get the weirdest of combinations. If you hear that, that little thing, that was my phone. Uh, but you get the... There's mobs. I'm not sure if you guys hear those or not. I, I assume you do. But the thing about the books, you get the weirdest of combinations. And, like, some of the combinations don't even go for the same tools. Like, Sappho has a shit ton of books, and some of them are, like, saying how he has, like, he'll have a looting 3 with, like, a power 4, which doesn't work, because they're both for different tools, so I don't want to waste experience trying to put, you know, an extra thing that's not even being able to be used on my bow, if that makes any sense, I know it makes perfect sense, because, you know, I know how to talk. Anyway, I'm going to keep on mining. More diamonds, guys. I am on a freaking roll. I literally probably only went 20 blocks from the last thing of diamonds. And I broke off from the, the mine a little bit looking for looking for some. Didn't find any. But uh, I just found some more right here. I was about to ditch it. I was about to be like, fuck it, I'm going to turn back around. And boom. More were hiding underneath the dirt. Yeah, that's right. Uh, more diamonds. And mucho diamonds for chance. A.K.A. Sonic. Damn, I'm on a roll. Can't wait to fortune these things. Oh, I'm gonna have so much. Alright, I'm gonna continue. Haha! -ha! So we were close to spawn. Um, this is where we spawn at on the server. Like, in this general area. But, this is the spawn. So I was correct about that, but I just... I did not know how to get out of this. The, I was trapped in that mine. I had no clue how to get out. So I just dug straight up where those diamonds were. And it took me right here. So it's perfect. Uh, I can come back whenever Gary gives me OP. I can mine down, get four or five maybe extra diamonds. Um, looks like someone's been... No, okay. No, it doesn't. 
Uh, I'm gonna head back to my base and I'm gonna fortune three all of the, the stuff I got, except for the, the lapis and the redstone and stuff. Uh, I don't need any of that, but I do want to see what I can get with the coal and the diamonds, so uh, I'm gonna get over there and do that, and I can't... Ooh, Sapo, he's been working on his base. He's been doing good, too, like... Oh, it takes up so much for him, and I feel awful. He does so much work for his base, like nether rack. He needs nether brick and nether quartz and glowstone. He used so much, and he's probably been in that nether probably at least half his like hours on this game. It's so great and I can't wait for it to be complete to show you guys. It's amazing. Meanwhile, I still have the circle dome. Honestly, I don't I don't even know if I will like it. What do you guys think? I don't know. This might just be the centerpiece or something. I have no clue what I want to do with this. Or uh, like maybe I can make that just the storage room. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I made it back to the base and then this little contraption was here. Uh looks like Sapo has left me a gift. I, I mean, I assume it's Sapo, and honestly, I'm afraid... I want to see if he made redstone or anything, because he's like that. No redstone. Okay, so it's not a trap. I mean, that's actually... I was expecting a trap. He did message me over Skype and say that he had a gift for me, but I didn't... I didn't know what it was. Uh, I assume I can just go around here, open this. Efficiency 4 and power 4. That's for a bow. That's nice. Wait, shift click. Oh, I was pressing control for the shift click. I have no slots available for that, so I guess I'll get this stuff in a minute. And this. He named it Durandal. Let's just drop this. Oh my! I'm breaking 3, looting 2, fire aspect 2, and sharpness. Five, I think. That is a good sword. Let me put my looting three on it. That'll be like a god sword. He named it Durandal. I'm gonna have to figure out what that means. I have no clue. Uh, and then there's this book. Uh, let's drop bones. Book. Oh, it's in my inventory. It's just, oh, wait, what? Oh, wait, there it is. Oh, okay. He, he left a book so I can read. The peerless sword said to be able to cut the heavens itself. This holy sword is one of seven holy holy ones. This legendary sword was wielded by the great paladin Roland in the great matter of France. <laughs> Formed by Wayland, the smith using a radiant fragment blessed by the Virgin Mary may the light guide your way and though not forsaken thy God. <laughs> Sapo, you're a one crazy guy. I freaking love you to death, dude. <laughs> I, I don't know how to thank you. I'll have to... I'll have to repay him somehow. I have no clue. Uh, no clue, though. I'm gonna frame this, though. And, I actually, I kinda wanna frame the sword, too, but it's way too good to be... just to be framed. Uh, that's really cool. Um, I'm gonna have to do something with this book. Uh, thanks, Sappho. I really don't know how to say thank you enough. But really. Uh, thanks. Like, <laughs> I don't even know. That's pretty funny, and <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, so I'm gonna get sorted, fix my inventory, and I'll be back. Oh, fuck! Oh my god, this sucks. I lost my ender chest over at the Skelly Farm. Oh, I gotta go all the way back to get my freaking ender chest. I, like, I was thinking about it the whole time, too. I was like, I gotta get my ender chest. Oh, yeah, but I got lost, so I couldn't grab it. So I dug straight up or whatever. I just forgot the chest, like... I'm gonna get rid of all these blocks, though, and then I'm gonna go get... Silly Sonic this as well. Someone, I, I don't know who, someone's taking refuge in my base. Honestly, I think it was money. Maybe? No, maybe fusions. I have no clue. Uh, I don't know. It's not a big deal. But I just thought that was weird. So I was thinking about all the stuff Sapo does for, for the server. He's always on. He's always playing. He's always building insane and awesome stuff. He has the best thing going on and... Honestly, I feel like if he had YouTube and he was doing YouTube, he'd be one of those guys that you'd watch and actually, like, be into, because he's a massive, he's great with redstone, he's a great builder, like, and he, he does the nicest shit for everyone. If he had YouTube, I'd totally watch his shit, and he, I bet he'd be good at it, <laughs> too, like, 
Oh, Sappho, you should get something, because you are a, a massive, insane player on everything. So you should really consider on getting something to, to start up your YouTube channel. Oh, look at this. I was running through the village, and then someone's been staying in this building. This house is Dio Unforgivens. Oh, okay. He plays... He plays as... Oh, shoot, I don't remember his name. Di R. Dusty. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have seen him on the server or any. But that is who our Dusty is. On the server, it's Dio Unforgiven. Uh, so that's really cool, but how do I get out? Uh, I don't know if I... Okay. Uh, this is... Okay, well, um... Yeah, so now we know where Unforgiven stays. Actually, I think he might have moved out, because there's nothing here. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do di diamonds first. I got the Fortune 3 pick. And here we go. Bang, 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 bang. Uh, this was 14 diamonds, plus the few that are down there that we haven't got yet. We just got 27 diamonds from this. Uh, now let's move on. I, oh, I'll, I guess I'll do this off camera. That's a lot. Um, okay, be right back. Okay, guys, so we're pretty high up. I just stacked all the blocks. Uh, well, we're pretty high up. <laughs> uh, I think this is a stack in 19, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and dig down. Okay, so I mined those, and I got two stacks in 49, and I think I gained at least, like, maybe three levels of experience on that. Uh, so, yeah, now I'm going to put some of this stuff up in here, uh, in the smelters, the furnaces, no, well, technically it's the same thing. So, uh, I'm going to, I think I'm going to try to get the looting three on top of the, that one. Actually, I don't know, I really don't know, should I put the looting three on there? No, I don't. Uh, I'll f I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I figured out what I wanted to do, and uh, I wanted to make this bow. I combined the two books to get those uh, on top of the book. And it only costs 14 to put the experience on, but I feel like I want a fire aspect on it, maybe. Uh, and if I name it, it'll cost 21. I don't know what I'm gonna name it yet. I'm gonna do some research on some cool things. Maybe something related to Sonic. Probably not. There's not a lot of bows in Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, maybe I'll go with a Greek god. I have no clue. Uh, so I'm going to continue to do some research on some of something like that. And uh, maybe while I'm doing the research, rank up my experience and sit in the zombie spawn that we worked on last episode. Two episodes ago, maybe? I don't know. But I'm going to go do that. <laughs> I'm down here at the, the mob grinder for the zombies. And someone's been at work. And I think we all know who it is. Most definitely, it is Sappo doing his job, you know, playing Minecraft. And look at all these books. I bet he wouldn't even mind if I took a few. Uh, I probably... Uh, feather falling's nice. But... Uh, let me just wow, two of these. Power two, power five. Yeah, none of these are really good. I think he has a little bit you know, which is perfectly fine. Uh, I think I might snag a feather falling too, though. Yeah, I guess that's all I really need. Smite for effectively. That is loud. That is really loud. I'm sorry. I mean, actually, I didn't do that because I'm like, I'm sure you guys are killing. Uh, oh, this sword. That was really close, I don't know. Uh, step up the sword in here for us to use so we can get better loot drop. Here, just research, level up, and we'll be back. Moving like the speed of sound.